93.9 KISW. So I'm backstage to see the producer here with Taylor Hawkins from the Foo Fighters, and he's eating right now, uh -huh. so that's very exciting. What are you eating? Oh, some sort of Thai, like, kind of concoction. They got a nice catering up there. A little stir-fry? A little stir-fry. Nothing wrong with that. The guy seems like a real dedicated, prideful type yeah. guy. And, and I think everybody's taking pride in their work here tonight. <laughs> and um, he was a good guy. And he's, he's he, uh, and then that, see that brownie sitting over there. He's, I said, what's that brownie like? And he goes, there's no nuts in that brownie. And I, and I go, oh, uh, that's okay. what I like. And he goes, I go, so it's just... Chocolate. It's, it's all it is. It's, it's barely even able to stay in place. It's like chocolatey goo. <laughs> and I said, oh, okay. I remember when some listener sent us some brownies and and made it very clear that the ones with the M and M's, without saying that there's weed in them, mm -hmm. basically said that there's weed in them. She's like, you'll have a, a high riffic time or yeah, something like right. that. It's like, great, okay. Well, I won't leave those in the be kitchen. Slightly um, personality changing. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure. That, I mean, just being on the. So you ate the one the M&M ones. Didn't At you? home, yeah. yes, of course. It would be weird to do it at work, yeah. you know, because people get fired for those kind yeah. of things, obviously. God, what happened yeah. in the old days, like yeah. the 70s, when yeah. people were just doing... Cutting up lines on the turntables. Turn <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was a good taste. Oh. So. It's weird today. I'm a little disoriented because right. uh, today was a little weird day. Because you ate one of those m and M. No. Um, um, yes, uh, yes. I, I, I wish I did. Here. No, today, it's a weird thing, but I actually have, it has a point to the story, um, okay. is that my, my girlfriend left me. Oh, and we lived nice. together. She moved all her stuff out today, right? And my iPod was playing. And a race uh, replace comes on right when the door closes. Nice. And I was like, this is actually a pretty perfect song. A, I'm a drummer as well, so right. I love the drumming on oh, that song. I think it's just yeah, amazing. Yeah. And yeah, that was stolen from... Uh, the drum riff is stolen from... Um, I know there's something going on. Oh, okay. Digga, 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 Dave came, in, Dave came in with the song, and I go, well, what do you think? And he goes, remember that thing that Phil Collins plays on that song by the chick from ABBA? Oh, funny. It's just go great. Ahead and to I, it. No, I would have never it's, put it together because of just how... Dude, yeah, that's it. Right it's now, so right funny right when now. you find certain little drum licks that you could just steal from someone yeah. and no one will ever know. Until, exactly. Until well, I just heavily it. influenced by the ABBA. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, I love so. ABBA. And I no, love there is the nothing wrong with drums, either. Yeah. I would agree with you on that. Well, the, the whole thing is that it's funny now. That song will always... Whenever I hear it, it's going to be bringing right, on, right yeah. back to that place. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was wondering if there's any songs in like that in your life that, you know, when you hear them, it absolutely brings you back to it. It could be a good moment, could be a bad moment, whatever moment. <coughs> I just choke on a shrimp. <laughs> I got a Thai chili in my throat. This would be <coughs> epic if I had to give you a heart. Like, <laughs> oh, my God! Um, they're, you know, um, we have Supergrass out here with us, and yeah. um, a lot of their music, because they were, they're one of my f favorite bands of the last, you know, 10 years or whatever. Completely underrated band, too. Completely underrated, mm -hmm. amazing musicians, amazing songwriters, and, um, like, their first album, I, when their first album came out, was the same time the first Foo Fighters record came out, and I played those albums hmm. nonstop. Um... Because everybody, no, not everybody knows. To those who don't know, I was I wasn't in the band until the recording of the second record was done. Right. So I didn't even start playing on the records till the third record. But um, there's a uh, there's the first Supergrass album, which always reminds me of that time, like 1996. Yeah. When I was on tour with Alanis Morissette, I used to play drums with Alanis. Yeah. It was my first kind of pro gig, and. Um, and that remind that 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 album reminds me of that, and so does the first Foo Fighters record. It reminds me of that time period. Yeah, there's lots of music. Yeah, coming, you know? it's crazy though how like certain yeah, things. Yeah, I love that. And that's I think that's that's one of the that's one of the great things about music. It's it, mm -hmm. it, it's kind of the wallpaper of your life. You know what I mean? The, that's a, yeah, that's, I guess that's kind of a weird analogy. But, but no, it's a good saying. But it really yeah. is. You know, I mean, it's there with you all, and behind the scenes. Yeah, or behind, yeah, you know, even people who probably don't really take music into that much of a consideration in their life still I, I imagine that certain songs like a smell almost you know takes you back yeah. to a certain period so 
So that race for place will always remind you of your chicked up in your ass. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys playing that tonight? Because I might start no, crying. No, we're not <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, that's pretty cool. Then, that, yeah. yeah, I just thought that was it. Was just a random thing. I was like, all right. Well, yes. are, are you okay with your chick like bailing? Or are you pretty bummed about it? Oh, well, it's two years down the drain, so it, it was pretty devastating. But it, you know, but, it just almost feels like a Dr. Phil moment now. Yeah, but now, Taylor, but, let me now tell you. but now think of all the other chicks you get to nail now. That is a good point. <laughs> it's funny <laughs> how guys yeah, work. Yeah. You got to look at the glass half full, you know, not half empty. You got to strategize now. Yeah. And, you know, if she dumped you or bailed or whatever, yeah. Um, then it was obviously going nowhere anyways. Well, that's the, yeah, when my buddies are always like, hey, well, you all right with that? I'm like, I don't want to be with someone that doesn't want to be with me. Yeah. So, that, I mean, it was just more annoying because I had to, like, think about it, the dog and all that. Yeah, you know, the family's there. there. And yeah, it's just stuff. like, yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah, the routine yeah. is gone. But, you know, you, we all move forward. and But, you know, yeah, I guess it's, it's just a weird time. It's a weird day. Was the sex hot? It was awesome. Oh, oh yeah. man. It was fantastic. <laughs> Well, goddamn, that's a whole other issue right there. And you know you're going to go through, like, now you're going to look, you're, yeah. you're going to be that guy for the next couple months, and you're yeah. going to be, like, wanting to get uh, laid so bad that yeah. you're going to be that guy at the bar. It's going to be obvious. Yeah, it's yeah. obvious. Yeah. So it's it's like might go have a sign on yeah, my head. Yeah, it's going to take a while for you to, for you to kind of brush off that vibe a little bit. While know? playing a race for place and all the next, time. And next thing you know, though, then, then all of a sudden, you're going to go through this rejuvenation mm -hmm. period where you're just, just, you know. <laughs> Sounds like you've been there. Professional, <laughs> or, or not professionally, sorry. Um, um, responsibly, you know, having sex with lots of different women. Right. Using condoms, mm -hmm. of course, and, and being a, a good, upstanding, responsible person. And you're going to be like, wow, this is amazing. This is the best time of my life. It's like my 20s again. Oh. <laughs> but, but, you're, but you also will be looking for the one the whole time. Yeah. It's kind of like a, yeah. you're having a lot of fun, but you're pretty empty inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot. So, so. You've pretty much <laughs> summed it up. No, but the thing is, no, but I was <laughs> thinking, I was thinking <laughs> at that point, I remember the time before I met my wife, um, there was like a, a year period where I was um, a bachelor. I had a house, and first time in my life I had like a little house and a little bit of dough in my pocket and stuff, and I was like, having the, the it was the best. Yeah. Yeah. But, the, but the thing is, the whole time I was still like looking for the one, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you get married and you go, well, God damn, that was fun. <laughs> I so the dress that. is always greener. My point is, <laughs> enjoy, enjoy this time period. First girl I have sex with, I will put on Foo Fighters. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> place. Place, yeah. Just, you know, just to learn how. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, 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 and enjoy this time period because yeah. you will find another girl and <laughs> she will move in and quite possibly this one will be the one that you marry and and if it's not i'm selling the house because that's that's the third time man and uh you know and and all that kind of stuff and it'll be the one you marry and then you'll you know and you'll have days when you'll look over at her and you'll go god you know god i remember when i was killing it nailing all these different chicks and that's over now and i'm just i'm married now but I love then there's going to be lots of times where you're going to be like this is the best thing ever and, mm -hmm. You know, and uh, and it is the best thing ever. But she wasn't the right one. Yeah, no, you're she right. She wasn't the one. This is just hilarious. How did it go from an interview well, to... this is way more important this is talking right, about the... Far more like important. Everybody knows about the... Just go on Foo the Fighters, Foo Fighters. Go on the internet, <laughs> go on YouTube, you find out all you need to know about the damn Foo Fighters. From now on, I have relationship Talked problems. About relationships. I'm, I'm contacting Taylor. <laughs> hey, man, it's a real pleasure to talk to you. Well, look, ask me a few more questions. This is silly. <laughs> right, yeah, well, she's like, uh, I, I mean, it's all right. I don't want to yeah, keep you. Yeah, 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 it's all right. I'm Board. Let's go. All right, well then let's talk. What <laughs> else we want to talk about? You guys played Wembley Stadium. It was a small gig, really. Yeah, really, intimate, just tiny. I mean, an intimate get together. Does it trip you out that I, at that moment? And I mean, obviously you guys won't say it, but I even talking to my Dewey buddies. Brownie. Yeah, I appreciate Have some that. Dewey Brownie. Um, let's see if this guy's really what he said he was. Let's see. This is. Oh, uh, this is good. That's good. And this is actually it is good. That is good. That's like almost tasting the butter. <laughs> um, no M and M's though. <laughs> No M&M's in this one, baby. I gotta do a show tonight. I don't blame um, you. Whenever I've ever had that happen, I feel like I'm playing really slow, and then my bandmates will tell me I'm playing way too fast. Yeah. Well, I always play way too fast anyway, so... Mm -hmm. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 .9 KISW. 